Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons, and we're going to talk about, in my humble opinion, there is a path to stop playing Dungeons and Dragons and start using Dungeons and Dragons to be a better human being. I'm going to share my opinion on how that's accomplished, specifically with the class Druid today. This is part of a playlist. You should watch it in the order that it, it that it appears in the playlist link below. And um, let's go. All right. Let's talk about Druid. Holy cows. All right. So I'm telling you that Gary Gygax is a unique American. He did something truly incredible in 1974. In, 19, in 1974, he set into motion, the, in my humble opinion, he set into motion in 1974 the human improvement engine that is Dungeons and Dragons. And literally, quite literally, millions of lives would be transformed and improved through Dungeons and Dragons from 1974 till now, 2022. And um, and I truly believe Gary had a sight. Uh, he had an intuitiveness for where our world was heading, and that's why he created Dungeons and Dragons. And nothing proves this stronger than the current version of the. Uh, so in today we're we're in Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Edition. Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Edition is foundationally built on Gary Gygax's legacy. And in 1974, when Gary Gygax built Dungeons and Dragons, he saw where he he saw a world that humanity needed to be saved from, right? And and frankly, he had an incredible amount of insight about the future. Okay, and one of them was our absolutely uh, catastrophic hexscape that is the burning earth today, right? And so Gary set into place in Dungeons and Dragons in 1974, the Druid. Gary's legacy has been carried forward, and the Druid is a more important character, is a more important class today than it was in 1974, right? But Gary knew that we would need a way to explore an absolutely critical aspect of our uh, of our humanity, ecology, the study of our environment, right? And so he set right into place in Dungeons and Dragons in 1974, and this has grown in importance, and he knew it would grow in importance, in my humble opinion, all the way up till 2022, where the Druid now is more important than ever, because the Druid is where you are going to ask fundamental questions about this key humanity element, which is our ecology, our relationship with the earth. So the druid is specifically here to say, okay, I'm an adventurer, right? But what I am concerned with most, right, is the environment, the living biome around me, the trees, the grass, the desert, the animals, the sky, the water, right? I look beyond the player characters to my right and my left. I look beyond the non-player characters be over there. And frankly, a blade, a, a blade of grass could be more important to me than an entire village, the lives of an entire village, right? I value, as a druid, I value the biome. I value this environment that I have been put for. And so Gary set into place in Dungeons & Dragons this incredible class that is specifically designed to explore humanity's inner humanity's relationship with the earth it lives upon, right? And do it radically, right? Druids are radical, right? They are saying, not only am I going to protect this environment, and I will slay some, you know, and a druid player character will slay foes to to keep out even a few gallons of pollution from the, ne the nearest river, right? They have a radical protection of the environment, right? And, and, and druid player characters will not hesitate, right, to, to put foes in the dirt, right, if they, if, they, um, if they even suggest that they intend harm to the environment, right? They will, they will take lives to protect trees, right? This is a fundamentally different class, and Gary put it here, very specifically with the intention, in my humble opinion, of it being used as an exploration for how humanity interacts with and has relationship with the earth it lives in, right? 
So, and one of the things that's really interesting too is we live on this planet. We as humans live on this planet and we have animals surrounding us, right? And we live in incredibly different ways with these animals. Some of us, right, might are birders and we, you know, uh, we look out and we see a bird and we say, I'm going to identify, I'm going to sight this bird. I'm going to identify this bird. I'm going to learn what, what its sound looks like. I'm going to learn what its colorways are through the year, right? And Dedar carries ourselves to having this distinct knowledge of these creatures on the planet, right? Others are like that. I'm going to take this animal of the earth and it is going to be my boon companion and it will literally share my home, right? All these are druid paths, right? And if we have questions about how we interact with our or with our pets, if we have questions about how we interact with birds, if we have questions about how we interact with horses, right? Our druid class allows us to run these experiences, ask these questions, right? And recraft. And after getting back answers from our player character druid, recraft our opinions about our relationship with the animals of this earth and change our behavior, right? Maybe you run Dungeons and Dragons and you run a dog ring, a dog fighting ring. Maybe after running a druid, you stop. You're like, you know what? By running this druid and wild shaping into a dog, I now have empathy for dogs, right? And I will no longer be a person who run, who plays Dungeons and Dragons and runs a dog ring, right? Like, this is a place for you to explore and ask genuinely real and genuinely important moral questions about how we interact with humans. And you will have the wild shape ability to do that. The other thing is the wild shape ability, okay? If you were a druid, you can wild shape into a bear. If you are a druid, you can wild shape into a hawk. If you are a druid, you can wild shape into a shark, right? What does it mean to compute, consume other animals, right? As an animal, what does it mean to have, you know, robust strength, right? Like a bear, right? What does it mean to hibernate like a bear, right? What does it mean to soar majestically across the earth and see it in a way you have never seen it as a human? All of these experiences are yours for the Druid class. And you, as a person, having gone into the Pohek, the path of optimal human exploration by class should come out the other end of of your experiments and your questions through the Pohek by running a Druid. You should come out with a better understanding of your humanity and your relationship as a human to animals and as we discussed earlier the earth druid is incredibly important and it points directly to this idea that gary gygax never created a fantasy game in my humble opinion he clearly created a way for we as humans to disconnect ourselves from non-thinking non um empathetic non-exploratory humans and to take our humanity further and give ourselves a way that is free and safe to explore the myriad questions that we have that without Dungeons and Dragons there would really be no path to make these explorations to delve into the dungeon of self to defeat uh, you know the Dungeons and Dragons Tiamat the five-headed foamy the fear the hatred the oppression right the misunderstanding the ignorance that makes us less and it's imposed by ourselves and by others but the druid is here for us right now as our planet burns to fundamentally reshape our relationship with the earth through experiments and questions that cannot be done anywhere else oh that's my humble opinion i'd love to hear your thoughts let me know in the comments below please consider like subscribing and have a wonderful millennium